Quick and Dirty Tutorial. Quick and Dirty. First, a quick look at CoinMarketCap.com. This gives you real-time values and trade volumes. The list of different currencies, the different exchanges, The watch list is for currencies you want to keep an eye on. The three dots to the far right will add the currency to your watch list. These tabs show in order the largest market capitalization, current price of currencies, volume of trade, how many coins are in circulation, 24 hour price change. Click the graph and you can look at the coins market history. You can choose the range you want to look at with these tabs above, or you can use the slider at the bottom. Now let's open Binance. To register on Binance requires your email address, a cell number for two-factor verification, security, and a password. Once you've registered, click Login. Let it load. Click in the white box so the login button turns orange. Ordinarily it requires you to manually move a puzzle piece to ensure you're not a robot. This time it didn't for some reason. When you click login it will send a code via text to your phone or email. Enter the six digit code within one minute and you're in. Go up top to funds and click balances. You're now in your Binance wallet. Here you can hide zero balances, so only the currencies you have are displayed. Up here, you go to the exchange. This is the basic view. These are the bids to buy and sell that are currently on order, as well as current trade prices. Up here to the right is a list of currency markets on the exchange. I prefer the advanced exchange. It's not really much different. You can adjust the graph up here. You can zoom in. The last trade amount is displayed here. Up here you pick the currency you want to buy or trade. We are trading in Bitcoin now, but other trade markets are available. The markets shown here have been put on my favorites list by turning the star on the left gold and then hitting the favorites button. Starting out you'll have to scroll through the list or use the search. To look at a market, just click it in the list. Let's go back to the wallet now. Click the little head and shoulders icon at the top. Find Bitcoin. Then click the deposit button. The address code for this Bitcoin wallet pops up. Copy the code using the copy button or right click copy the code. Now we're going to jump over to Coinbase. I have $105 worth of Bitcoin. I'm going to send half of it over to my Binance wallet. Go to Accounts. You see the Bitcoin wallet on the left. Hit the Send button. Paste the address you just copied from your Binance wallet into the field. Green dot on the right means it's good. Fill in the amount in US dollars. Hit continue. Then confirm. It's on its way. Now this transaction could take a little while, so you can check its status by hitting view details. 
The code here is your blockchain ID. Click it and you can see its status on the blockchain. It usually takes six confirmations to complete, but many exchanges accept three. Hit the refresh button occasionally to check the confirmations. Now back over to the Binance wallet. On a good day, it can take 10 to 15 minutes or so. On a bad blockchain day, it can take hours, which can really suck if you're racing to place a bid before an asset skyrockets. Okay, Bitcoin arrived. Let's go back to the exchange. I'm going to be buying some XLM today, also known as Lumen. I find it in the list. Open the market. Come down here to the bottom right. Here is the Bitcoin amount I just transferred. Now we'll set a price we're willing to pay. Market will place your order at the current price and will fill almost instantly. Stop limit, you can set a lower, more competitive bid. This bid will remain open until it is filled. Limit is a median, lower asking price and the order won't remain open indefinitely. It sets the current bid price, but you can still change it. You can also set a price by clicking on a red or green order in the lists above. Now we choose the amount to buy. Since I'm using all of my Bitcoin for this one, I'll use this 100% button and it will make all the calculations. Now we just click the bright green buy button. A notice pops up and we have an open order in our order window. It has all the order information and can be canceled at any time. Now we just wait until the bid gets filled. There it goes. Let's go look in our wallet. And there they are. 250 lumens. That's basically all there is to buying digital currency on Binance. Good luck and good buying. Have fun.